All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Fruit Basket Season 2, Episode 5. Um, very excited for this episode. I'm interested to see what's going to happen. Um, not really much I have to say today. I look weird when I'm not wearing glasses in my reactions, don't I? I'm just wearing contacts today. I'm a shirt for some reason. I don't know. Um, but very excited to get into this episode. And yeah, let's get right into the episode right now. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is the dude she was on about. Oh, I'm excited for this episode. I was wondering when this was going to come in, when she was going to speak about the guy she met at work. And I wonder what relevance he has to the story. Like, who is he? I assume he's somewhat Soma related. Let's see how the path of this story goes. Um. Anyway, in the last episode, what happened? We had the incident with Haru when he went dark because of the girl who is the Zodiac horse, I assume. Uh, breaking up with him. I still don't know how that works. They're part of the same family, I think. But um, anyway, yeah, that happened. The whole brotherly, well, best bro kind of situation between him and uh, Yuki happened too. And what else happened? I don't know. It's a very nice episode. I want to end with Toru and Yuki. Yuki? Being... Followed by her. Don't know her name yet. I think they mentioned her name, but I've forgotten. So, I don't know. Is this episode going to be based around Toru's friend and the guy she met at work? Or is it going to be based around them? I have no idea. It could be both. All the, but I, I'm very excited. And I definitely want to see what happens with the with this guy from her work. I think it's very cute. <laughs> he did the same thing as Toru. Fair enough. I agree. She gives me very um eyes Aizawa vibes from uh Book Here. Like she cares about her students, but she's also very mundane, but when she gets angry she could get angry. <laughs> Oh, I want to know who got them. I can relate. <laughs> Oh, she's a hard worker. Oh. 
<laughs> but yeah, what she need a second job for? She got a first job that pays, and then a, her second job is just taking care of the house. Oh yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Back on echo. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, you, you love to see it. Hey, oh, <laughs> so you can have everybody over. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll throw her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm playing for a scary game right now, and uh, I'm not really good with horror, but I'm just playing like an absolute crackhead, just running straight through stuff, so it, it really helps. It doesn't make the game as scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, she's gonna knock herself out. Oh, now a goddamn concussion. <laughs> 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 I can't even drink, I'm laughing so much.
Oh, well, the ghost swooned in at that moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> Why? The, the Zodiac animals, all of them feared nothing, I swear. Is this a real person? And he's just gonna be like, start crying or something? <laughs> oh, Why is this so sad? <laughs> he's got an arrow in his head. What am I watching? I got. You make up a story like this for every single scary person you see. Oh my god. <laughs> so they are like animatronic things. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pay for this. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> it actually is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You wouldn't believe them. You wouldn't. Oh. Did his button just come flying off his shirt? Hungry if I don't eat soon. <laughs> I 
Oh. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow. Really? He doesn't act no, he doesn't actually seem happy. Yeah. I don't think he meant it like that. <laughs> I want to know about his life. Oh. Oh. What the fuck was that? Wow.
He is Mysterio, isn't he? <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> don't let it get in your head. Yeah. Let's see what happens. <laughs> mm. Such a little happy family. All these guys, all the Zodiac animals and stuff should make their own mini estate where they can all live together with Toru and be so happy. That'd be so fun. I don't need that fancy ass stupid estate. Everybody live happily here. Oh, what is this? Well, he's somewhat related to her. To the server family. Oh boy. Okay. So, my thoughts on this episode, just from the end of there, after seeing that, and now realizing a couple things. Number one, when she went to, for food with Tara's other friend, I'm sorry, I don't know their names, um, and her little brother. Specifically, I think it was just those guys there. Um, not so much about Toru, but I think if any of the Zodiacs were there and they heard his name, I think they would know who he is, which is why I think that was set out like that. And I also think he has a obviously has a relation to the Soma family. I have no idea how, but the way he came into the convenience store and was kind of like in a dit in a in a trans kind of thing. I mean, he didn't even know that he could use baskets. He was either just as he was explaining that he was. You know, his life was work and living and basically nothing else. Because um, there was a thing that, who is it that can, like, erase memory or something like that in the ter in the Soma family? I'm sure there's, there's someone, right? And that kind of just gave me that vibe as well. I don't know. But I hope this is someone that can be saved because he seems like a really genuine person. He's just doesn't really know what happiness is and i hope it works out between him and um the blonde girl because that was really cute but yeah i really liked this episode though especially the <laughs> the, the haunted house bit it was very that was nice uh, as i can kind of see how the episodes are laid out like it started with something nice and happy and then it sort of goes toward like a bit like the second half is a bit more real and emotional and like the kind of opposite end of happy so i hope something i hope something good happens between in all of this and yeah overall a very good episode and i was very interested to see how the the two would come together the blonde girl and the brown and brunette guy Really want to see his connection, how he's connected to the Soma family as well. And uh, yeah. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.